Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I am going to keep this intro very short, sweet and to the point because this video is a little bit more in depth than others. I really hope that you guys enjoy it, grab yourself a snack and let's jump straight into it. Just before we get started on the makeup, I first wanted to hydrate my skin as the cold weather has definitely not been doing it justice. I'm heavily spritzing that all over my face and giving it a couple of moments to sink in before moving on. For my brows, I decided to try a lighter shade of pomade. This is in the color Chocolate. I begin to fill them in below my natural hairs and then slowly work my way up towards the top. I do tend to overdo my brows as you guys well know so I thought that by using a lighter color brow product it may help in some way but personally I don't think it did and this particular color carries quite a bit of red undertones which just isn't me. I didn't like the look of it but we're just going to roll with it. One brow is already done. I am then going to run the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel through my hairs and this is great to blend out that pomade if ever you feel like it is too heavy. However you should apply it immediately after you filled in your brow that way the pomade is still a a little bit wet and it can be worked with. Once that pomade is dry it is very difficult to budge. Once my brows are on I'm going to begin to clean them up using an angled eye brush and some foundation. Concealer will work just as well. And then taking more of that foundation I'm going to run it in and around my eye area, blend it all out and then set it in place using a powder and this will help stop any excess oils from building up throughout the day and really prep the lids for eyeshadow. I find now is a perfect time to pluck any stray hairs you may have. That foundation and or concealer will help highlight the stray hairs and because our brows are already filled in, we won't make the mistake of over plucking them. Because we are working with deep brown and black eyeshadow today, I prefer to start with my eye makeup first. So if there is any fallout, it isn't an issue. However, if you have already done your base, that's perfectly fine. Just ensure that you really tap off the excess eyeshadow on the brush before blending it onto your lids. And now we can move on to our eye makeup. So I am starting off with the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, picking up the shade Burnt Orange. I'm going to run that back and forth into my crease and this will act as our transition shade. I am using a fluffy eye blending brush to do this and building up the color layer by layer. I'm then picking up this brown shade and placing it on my very outer corner using a Real Techniques eye blending brush. Pat the eyeshadow in place before blending it out to ensure that the whole area is covered and it isn't patchy. I am going in with a couple of layers to really intensify the eyes and provide a good base for the black eyeshadow to cling to. And once there isn't a lot of eyeshadow left on my brush, I'm going to slowly and carefully blend that eyeshadow further up towards my brow bone. And this will give more of a cat eye effect and definitely increase the smokiness vibe to the eye makeup. Taking a very small blending brush, we're going to pick up this black shade and apply it directly on top of that brown eyeshadow. Very carefully blending upwards towards the crease and again, once there isn't a lot of eyeshadow left on that brush, we can afford to go a little bit higher. It is very, very easy to overdo black eyeshadow, so make sure that you take your time with this step. And once you're happy with how the outer corner is looking, it is handy to have a clean blending brush on hand to blend out the edges to ensure there are no harsh lines. Alternatively, just wipe the original blending brush clean on a paper towel before using it. For my lid shade, I'm picking up this one from the Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. I think I've used this palette in the last three tutorials. I cannot put it down. I'm using a flat top eye brush to pat it in place. A flat top eye brush will give you the most color payoff, second to applying it with your finger. Don't ever use a blending brush for applying a shimmery or foiled eyeshadow because you are going to get the same result. And for a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm taking the NYX Roll On Eye Shimmer in the shade Platinum and I'm placing that on my very inner corner, just using a pencil brush because that is able to really get into the grooves of the eye. And that is the eye makeup pretty much complete. It's actually really easy to achieve. It just takes a little bit of time. You can add a liner like me if you wish. Because I know I'm going in with falsies, it just helps the lash band to blend in better. And I personally find that a liner gives more of a finished look to the eyes. I'm taking a cotton bud and some makeup remover and I'm wiping away any fallout that occurred during the eye blending process. And I'm also gonna use this opportunity to really crisp up my outer corner. My skin tends to get really dry and because with that makeup remover I took away the moisturizer, I am now going to add it back in. So I'm just using just an ordinary cream. I think this one is by Nivea, it's not anything fancy. I'm just going to apply it under my eye area and this will ensure that my eye area stays hydrated throughout the day and this also makes a really good base for the foundation to sit on. 
The eye makeup is quite glittery, so before moving on, I just wanted to lock it in place with a setting spray. And this will help minimize the fallout throughout the day, and of course, try keep it looking fresh. For my base, I'm reaching for the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I'm using a semi-damp beauty blender to blend it out. I'm going to apply it all over my face. You guys know that I like that heavy coverage, so of course, I am going for it again today. I always dab liquid or cream products out. I don't ever rub. Dabbing will get you the most from that coverage. To add more coverage to my under eye area, I'm taking the NARS Radiant Concealer and initially I'm blending it out using a small eye brush as I don't want to accidentally get that concealer over my eye makeup because that is going to be really hard to recover from. And once it is almost blended in, I am going to be returning to that beauty blender to finish it off. To set and lock everything in place, I'm using my trusty Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to run that under my eyes and then over the rest of my face. This is a translucent powder so it's not going to add any extra coverage to my skin. However, if you feel like you could do with the extra coverage, you can always use a concealer prior to this step and then on top of that you can use a, co a coloured powder because a coloured powder carries the properties of coverage as well. To highlight the high points of my face, I'm using the Balm Merry Luminizer. This is such a great product for all skin types. I'm just applying that on my upper lip, top of my nose, and of course my cheekbones, going in with a couple of layers to really make it pop. And you guys know that if I highlight, I have to bronze. So I'm going to warm up my face using the Anastasia bronzers. These bronzers are packed with color. So you just want to be careful that you don't go in too heavy at the start. Otherwise, it is going to be very hard to blend out. It's kind of like black eyeshadow. You do want to start off slow and work your way up to your desired look. In preparation for falsies, I am going to coat my lashes. And my choice of fake lashes today are these ones by House of Lashes in the style Juliet. While the glue is becoming tacky, I am going to run that translucent powder under my bronzer to crisp up the edge and give the illusion of a strong and sharp cheekbone. And then I am also going to run a little bit on the corner of my eyeshadow to crisp up that edge even more. And while that is doing its thing, my lashes are just about ready to go. So I'm going to pop these on and then I'm going to run an eyeliner brush with some black gel liner through the lashes. And this will help to blend my natural lashes in with the falsies. To deepen up my lower lash line, I am going to be returning to that black eyeshadow. Be sure to tap off the excess because we have now done our base. We want to try to minimalize the fallout as best as we can. And I am just going to apply this on my outer corner lash line, taking it about halfway through. I was so excited for this pop of color. I am running the Chi Chi eyeliner in my waterline before picking up this vibrant blue eyeshadow from the Chi Chi Brights palette and applying it in the first half of my lower lash line to help make the eyeliner pop. To complete the look, I'm taking the Too Faced Melted Matte and I am going to run that over my lips. I do apologize that the footage is a little bit blurry. It does fix itself up very soon. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Have a great day wherever you may be and I'll talk to you guys next time.